I have four children and their names are Alice, Andrew, Peter and Claire and I would have to say that it is totally by the grace of God that they have grown up to be young adults who love God and have turned out as they are. Because when I look back and see some of the things that I did as a parent, I think it is truly amazing <laughs> that they turn out at all. And, and I think one of the, um, the things that came as a real revelation to me was the first time I saw one of our children doing something that was just a mirror of what I did and wasn't a particularly good thing. So I have um, strong perfectionist traits and so um, when I'm cutting things up they need to be the same size and watching one of our children colouring in and going out of the line and just going throwing something away because it was not exactly as they had intended it to be um, and just seeing in, in other ways um, for instance I am very bad at leaving things till the last minute and um, then running late jamming as much in and and I see um, maybe our children doing that same thing and arriving late and thinking, oh, that's, that's just exactly what I do. And, and, it's, um, and, and you can feel like um, I am really going to make a botch of raising these children because I'm not a perfect person. And, um, but I think what I've come to realise is that the most important th thing that our children see is our relationship with God and so if they see that I that I am just saying I'm an imperfect parent but I love Jesus and I am trying to grow more like him and I'm open to for him to show me things and to learn and change then I think that that is the saving grace is that our children actually see the relationship that we have and um, and that yeah that we're on a journey and it's a process so now when I look at my children I just think it's a miracle and it's because I've made grace a part of my story. Mum brought me up to know right from wrong but I was fairly unhappy because of circumstances. By year nine I was smoking dope. By the time I was at art school um, we were smoking regularly just you know in and out of lessons. As I progressed um, my drug habit progressed with me and by the time I was in my early 20s, I was a um, heroin addict mm -hmm. and doing everything that one might think one might need to do to support a habit that was like $1,000 a day. Mm -hmm. Mum was terrified for my life because we hung around criminal elements naturally. Mm -hmm. I went down to 40 kilos. I was erratic, irrational, <clears throat> suicidal, you name it, I was it. But through the whole thing, she loved me. She tried to help me. I refused to be helped. And God wasn't really there um, because he didn't answer my prayers. So um, is he answering your prayers? No. So is he there? No. But God called me. My mum obviously wasn't entirely enthusiastic about my choice of friends, but she never expressed any displeasure towards them. She accepted them in the house, she fed them, she did all the things that mums do. She was devastated the whole time, telling me all the time, your dad is so unhappy about what you're doing. Um, then when I, I went to New Zealand, I became a Christian over there. But there is no way I would have made it if mum hadn't been praying me through. I'm the first one in my family to have become a Christian and I know it's because I had concentrated prayer. <laughs> so God love the praying mothers. It's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, even after becoming Christian, I didn't maintain a perfect walk, but I never would have made it through without a praying mother. So any of you mums who have rebellious kids, keep praying, keep praying. It's the grace, the grace of a mother, grace of a mother's heart, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that brings us through. I became a single mum in 1999, and uh, so it was me and four kids. But later on, after I'd remarried, um, the kid's biological parent 
kind of want to um, kind of back into the kids' lives again. And that led to two, two and a half years of uh, court proceedings. Um, by which stage, uh, we just, uh, it was really, uh, uh, we, didn't, we didn't know how we could keep on going. And uh, in the end, we, just, we decided that um, we needed to leave the state and that was obviously not um, wise legally speaking, but it, it was what we believe God wanted us to do. And uh, Trevor left for Newcastle and I was left with Tom. And we didn't, we didn't know what the outcome of the court decision would be. But uh, at one point I had no hope. But there was just this one thought, but, and it was, but, but God. And, uh, and God has proved that he's gracious and enabled us to um, start again without someone pursuing us and you know we've at least uh, so we have safety and yeah so even when there was no assured outcome um, I, God, God told me I don't always feel it but God told me that it would be all right I'm here now and he's given me that chance to live a life that's um, restored I have a 16 year old daughter and the road hasn't always been easy for us. Um, I'm a single mum and I've been a single mum since she was one year old. My family kind of were of the opinion that um, while they would visit and interact with us, they didn't really um, offer much support for for the choices that I made in my life. I guess I've drifted a lot. Um, that's what my life was about, really. And it wasn't until we moved to Newcastle and um, my daughter was having a really hard time in primary school and started going to religious education classes of her own accord that um, I kind of kicked up a stink. I was very um, <laughs> anti uh, Christianity and wanted her to have an open mind and um, she had other ideas. I really believe that she was experiencing the grace of God and sorry <laughs> and then the questions started she brought the questions home and I didn't know how to answer them and um, she asked about going to church and I kind of said Oh, no, we won't be doing that. <laughs> uh, that's kind of for other people. That's for Christians. <laughs> We're not Christians. And um, the questions kept coming and I had no answers. And um, eventually I, I, felt as the, I felt pulled to go to church and I believe it was God. I had remembered a conversation two years prior about the granary and so I thought okay let's find out about this granary and um, every Sunday was in tears. <laughs> I was the rebellious mum. <laughs> Seeing God work through my daughter has helped to rein me in. Uh, that opened the door for me to have a relationship with him and now you know there was times where I, I and still is sometimes where I feel lost as a parent. I find when I hand it over, when I really, really try to let go um, and hand it to God, that he takes care of it. And um, that's when I see the most beautiful outcome that I could not have possibly imagined. But yeah, I think it is really important to know that we learn so much through our children and it can even mean the make or break of a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. 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 Yeah.
things oh, that, that we learned so much. Oh, I'm not the same person.